All right, here's the famous frog on a log problem. I like to use this to, to illustrate an important concept about geometric sequences, and that is that the sum of an infinite geometric sequence may not, in fact, be infinity. So here is the precept of this problem. Let's say we have trained our friend here, the frog. Let's say we've trained our frog to be able to jump half the distance to the end of a log on any given jump. And let's say for starters that our log is eight foot long and we place the frog over here at the end of the log. And we start letting that frog jump. And let's say that frog makes a jump every couple of seconds and we start recording his jumps. So the frog's first jump halfway to the end of the log is a leap of four that places him over here. And then he takes his second jump a couple of seconds later. And half of the distance now left is just two. And he takes a third jump and half of that distance is one and a fourth and a fifth and a sixth and we get tired of recording so we say we're going to come back tomorrow and check on this frog's process and by time we get here tomorrow the frog is down here and we can barely see that frog jumping and we say wow he's not making very much progress and we come back a year later and there's our tired and hungry frog and we can't see him making any forward progress at all and he has virtually gone the length of the log eight feet and in theory if that frog could make infinity jumps he would actually end up jumping eight feet that ties into our formula for this for an infinite sum which says the sum of an infinite sequence sum of infinity terms is the first term or in this case the first jump over one minus the ratio in this case each jump is half as far as the previous jump our frogs jump first jump is four over one minus one half and that equals eight.